Boy, do we have a treat for you today. <gasps> Is it a new Genesis album? No, I wasn't speaking to you. We've started recording. Oh. Uh, oh, no. It's, it's okay. Cool. So we have a real treat for you guys at home. Six episodes and a competition. We know how to treat our viewers. So mm. we always pride ourselves on. Anyway, in today's episodes, we will attend a grand opening for a station which we've seen before. It's a bit of a puzzle there. Uh, and then there's a best dressed engine competition. And uh, then we'll be introduced into the best character in the series, Spencer. Best character in your opinion? Nah. He is the best character. Him or Peter Sam, and then possibly Duncan. Hmm. Uh, anyway, and then we got some not so hasty puddings. Or cakes if you're American. For some reason that's probably best known to them. Mm. Uh, then we put our. Trust in Rusty, which is probably a good call. Mm. And he's, he's quite trustworthy. I would say so. Mm. Or she. <laughs> uh, Thomas is, <laughs> then Thomas gets a medal. Uh, so a pretty good episode this this time round. Not bad, was it? No. Better than a slap round the face with a wet fish. Depends what you make of it, though, doesn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. No doubt we'll make a. Uh... We'll, we'll make something out of them. A hash out of it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing us, yeah, it's good light, good lightness, uh, good possibility. Possibility. Where's my cue card? Oh, that's a very good question. It's a good question, a question that must be answered, Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one is the grand opening. Are you uh, you a fan of grand openings of any sort of... I don't kind? like the grandest of grand openings. No. I more like the smaller grand openings. Oh, what, like when they open a new Tesco? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then you got someone there to cut the ribbon as you yeah. walk in. Like, like a Z, Z-list celebrity, you know. Well, I wouldn't even say it was Z-list. Like Keith, probably like the count, town like, mayor or something. Like Keith Chegwin, someone like that, you know. Yeah, Cheggers. <laughs> the one that thinks he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that anti War Thompson won't be getting uh, asked to open a Tesco's very, <laughs> very soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I went to that point, actually. Did you? Did yeah. you see him? No. Did you see him with two suspicious he, he bulges? Looked, he, looked, he looked fatter than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder <Quite> puzzled. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what happened there. I was, was he whistling, sort of? Yeah, <laughs> as he walked out the entrance, <laughs> looking away. That yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, With a blatant like chicken-sized bowl <laughs> in his stomach. You can see the legs poking at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. you! <laughs> Very sort of comedic styled, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but no, I was quite disappointed to find that they didn't have like a uh, a tour guide. No. <laughs> like, so this is where Anthony uh, picked Start up the, the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this is and where he this pretended is... to take it through the checkout. <laughs> this is the route. This is the route he took. Uh, Note some... he went past the uh, skips and uh, quavers. He didn't pick them up. <laughs> surprising <laughs> he did stop down here to look at the ham but unfortunately his pockets were full <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah and it wasn't until he walked out of the store that our uh, security guard had uh, caught him yeah <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to go through the gift shop uh, there is t-shirts and <laughs> i caught thompson <laughs> <laughs> uh, and knickknacks uh, so yeah, thanks for thanks for visiting. Yeah. I only come in here for a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a better way to spend an hour and a half? I don't think so, Gallica. I'm late for work now. <laughs> this is my lunch break. <laughs> anyway, we go on to question one, which is how many slate trucks is Duncan pulling when he crosses the causeway at the beginning? They like that set, didn't they? Yeah, they do, don't they? Three, four, five or six? Uh four. It was four. And a brake van. Four and a brake van. Or a box car. Or a box car. Or a caboose. Caboose. <laughs> caboose, if you're American. Can you remember the the game we used to play on the laptops? Oh, yes. Yes, yes I can. I used to have to go and pick up things and then yeah. try it. I can't remember what that was called. Why can't Harold fly? He has malfunctioning blades. He has engine trouble. The wind's too strong. Or he is being punished. <laughs> He's been grounded. <laughs> oh, dab. Uh, no, he's got engine trouble. He has got engine trouble. I don't... I don't understand why he... Uh, maybe they put the wrong fuel in it or something. Well, you're the mechanic. You're not an aviator mechanic. I don't know, you could still go over there and overcharge him by quite some misconception. Probably. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. And done nothing. It's going to cost you... <laughs> <laughs> You haven't done anything. You've literally just arrived. You've stepped out of your car, <laughs> looked at the helicopter, and said, 
It's going to cost you. I've been told what I have to say, okay? That's I'm, just, I'm just skipping to it. I don't want to waste anybody's time here. We're all very busy people. <laughs> when a person walks in and goes, I need a new exhaust. It's going to cost you. <laughs> it's your catchphrase. Yeah. you got it like transcribed on the uh, ceiling. It's our, it's our company motto. <laughs> it's going to cost you. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. Scarlowy's brake van is referred to as what at one point? A caboose? A cattle truck, a box car, or a slate truck? Uh, a box car. It is, that's American. Although American is caboose, I don't know. Box car, I think it's American as well. Yeah, it's stupid, stupid words. What is the name of the station on the new line? Rickety Bridge, Rocky Bridge, Blondin Bridge, or Rumblin Bridge? That would be the Rumblin Bridge. It is Rumblin Bridge. Was it a nice station, Caligo? It was alright. Question 5. Complete the following quote. The new line looks A. Splendid, B. Superb, C. Wonderful, or D. Brilliant. I do believe she said splendid. And was it splendid? It was mediocre. (laughs) Episode (laughs) 2. Best dressed engine. And who's the best dressed engine, Calico? Gordon. You laughed at Thomas, didn't you? I did, it's just these massive bows. Yeah. Question one, this episode is set on which day? May Day, Christmas Day, Easter Day, or April Fool's Day? Wouldn't it be so much better if it was April Fool's Day? Yeah. But it's not, it's uh, May Day. It's April Fool's Day every bloody day, so I should imagine they're fools. They're crazy fools. Stupid, isn't it? I pity the fool. What colour banner does Thomas say he is going to have? Blue, yellow, green, or red? Good question. It's, um... Red. Two very big, oversized banners. Banners. Mm. (laughs) It is two oversized red banners. Whose children wave as Thomas passes by? The vicars, the farmers, the fat controllers, or the guards? If it was the vicars, wouldn't they be other people's children? (laughs) Mainly boys. Hmm. Just having a thought. Just throw that one out there. But no, back to the uh, matter in hand. Who waves? It was the farmer's children. It was the farmer's yeah, children. quite a few of them as well, didn't he? There's a farmer in the song I Know What I Like by Genesis. Yeah. Uh, he calls to offer uh, Peter Gabriel a job in the fire escape trade, apparently. Whatever that is. If anybody does know what the fire escape trade is, please leave a comment Judging below. Judging by the lyrics after that, I think it's something to do with gambling. Question four. Who can be seen going over a bridge in this episode? Trevor, Bertie, Caroline or Bulgy? Uh, that was Bulgy. It is a stock footage from Bulgy drives again, rides again. It is, yes. It is, but yes, you're correct on both parts of that. <laughs> it is Bulgy and it is stock footage, as per usual with this series. <coughs> what What is in Trevor's cart? Hay, straw, apples, or lime? Or children? <laughs> Probably children. <laughs> Not meant to be that, but. Um. It's apples for the children's apple bobbin. Oh, yeah, so I don't know if they're allowed to do that anymore. Probably not. Probably not. It, 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 const- it constitutes fun. And you know we're not allowed to have fun, Calico, not nowadays. In, not in the UK, no. No, not in, not in schools and that. No. You're not allowed to play bulldog anymore. No. Remember when you used to play bulldog? Yes. It I was do. a pretty brutal game. It was, but it, but it made men of us. Separate from the men from the boys. Yeah, and the boys were picked on. I was alright, see, because my weight got me through that game. <laughs> was like, right, tackling him in, knocked no. me over. <laughs> anyway. You're correct there, it was apples for the children's apple bomb. I suppose there's fear of children drowning now. Probably. There? Episode 3 now, and this one's the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, I've been waiting for. Da, 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 da. Meat. Spencer. Hello, Sodor. <laughs> what a t- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, the moment Calico's been waiting for. He uh, loves Spencer. Don't you? I do. It's my. F- There's a voice I. F- it was the, my first person I voiced. It was. Many, many moons ago, me and Calico did a Hero of the Rails audiobook. Ugh, we never really. We never released it, but we did it for the fun, and we only got halfway through it. But the <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, Calico did enjoy doing Spencer's voice. He was very good at it as well. 
Why does Gordon look his best? He is taking the Mayor, a Duke and Duchess are coming. He is going to race Spencer. He is taking Sir Topham and Lady Hat. Um, because he's going to take the, the Duke and Duchess. Well, he thinks he is. Well, he thinks he is. <laughs> So he has a wash and wax. <laughs> and it's all, wash all, in, and wax. all in vain. Yeah, well, that's it. It was, yes. He thought he was going to take the Duke and Duchess. What is Spencer doing when Gording... Uh, Gording? <laughs> Gording. <laughs> what is Spencer doing Gording? What is Spencer doing when Gordon arrives at the shed? A, boasting, B, joking, C, humming, or D, taking on more coal? Um... Humming quietly. He was humming quietly. Perhaps he should have been taken on water. How can you hum quietly is what I want to know. Hum. He wasn't actually humming a tune. He was just going hum. Yeah. <laughs> very, very lazy. Where is the party for the Duke and Duchess being held? Knapford, Maithwaite, Dryor or Marin? Um, that was Marin. But that's way over Gordon's Hill. He'll never make him. Not if he doesn't take on water. Which station station master tells Gordon to rescue Spencer? Dryor, Wellsworth, Knapford or Marin? Uh, that would be Eddie's station. Yeah. You can see him in the background photobombing. Yeah, and he, he was he's Just frowned. No, he's uh, ever so upset, wasn't he? I wonder what's wrong. We must go and ask him. But if, yeah, he's photobombing in the background yeah. and it's Wellsworth. Isn't it? it is Wellsworth. Eddie's station. Eddie. Steady oh, old steady, Eddie. Steady old Eddie. Which two engines can be seen at Marin when Gordon and Spencer arrive? Henry and Percy, Toby and Emily, Ed, Duck and Edward, or Thomas and James? Yeah, uh, that would be... Thomas and James? The very, very Liverpudlian engine. He's, yeah, he's back to his full... Too li- much poor for not enough steam! <laughs> he is back to his full liver. Shh, James, shut up. He can hear you. <laughs> he's meant to! <laughs> Why? Why are you always like this, James? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Thomas having an yeah. argument with it. Why do you always start arguments? It's when we're in front of very important people. I don't it's, think we haven't noticed. On the big, on our railway, it's you. On the narrow gauge, it's that bloody Duncan. Always starting arguments. Shut up, Thomas! <laughs> no, I've had enough. I'm making a stand here. Thomas, shut up. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> Episode 4 is Not So Hasty Puddings, and were they hasty puddings? Not so. Mm. Question 1. At the at which station does the Fat Controller tell Elizabeth about the Snowden Pudding Factory? Marin, Knapford, Wildsworth, or Maithwaite? Uh, it was at Maithwaite, where it... uh, Thomas tried to steal the job from her. I know. Other people have jobs too, Thomas. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I know you want to be reliable. You I know want... you want to be trustworthy. You want to do everything. And th- there is so many engines also. We've got to bring them in for marketing reasons. <laughs> so there's got to be jobs for them to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. You know. You can't do everything. Because, let's be honest, we wouldn't be able to fund this production if it was just you. No. I mean, we've made all the toys we can of you, you know. <laughs> That's why we brought in Murdoch and Arthur. And <laughs> You're correct. It was myth, wait. The footage used when the narrator says, The snow was heavy, is originally from which episode? The Flying Kipper, It's Only Snow, Snow, or Snow Engine? Think, Calico, think. Is me? this the one where it cuts to the stock footage, where Thomas is quickly his train, it's just Thomas and his train, Yeah. and then it cuts to the stock footage, where somehow Toby has yeah. appeared in the middle of and it. And Danny and Clarabelle have been replaced by a Christmas tree. <laughs> I didn't really think Magic. that through, did they? <laughs> no. Which I episode think, is it? Do you want the... Oh, I think it's called it? Snow. You sure? That's what I'm going with. To be honest, I can't really remember. It's not Snow. It's it's only Snow. Oh. Flying Kippers from Series 1. You know that one, don't you? Yep. It's Only Snow is the one where Thomas and Toby deliver the Christmas tree. Uh, from Series 6, that was. So you sh- oh, no, that was ages ago. We did that in the Christmas special. I was going to say, you should know, because that was in Series 6, where we did that in the Christmas special. Snow. Oh, someone's just popped up on my Google map. Oh, look, it's Calico. Snow is um, is from Series 5, and Snow Engine is from Series 7. Question 3. When Thomas arrives to pick up Terence, Salty can be seen pulling a train of what? Flatbeds, vans, oil tankers, or troublesome trucks? Oil tankers. They are oil tankers, yes. What colour hat does Elizabeth's driver, or dyer, dryer, as I have here, have? Brown, blue, 
Uh, red or black? Blue. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Well, it was brown. I wasn't really paying attention to that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's two. You're back in your rut again at the minute. Let's hope you don't sink below it. <laughs> Question five. The Fat Controller is said to be delighted to see what? Terence, the bakery crate, the ship, or Thomas' snow plan? <laughs> Tell you what, Thomas, I'm delighted to see your snow plan. <laughs> I've always liked it. <laughs> nice and blue. <laughs> no, of all things, it's the bakery crates. Really? <laughs> well, he was safe. To, he was uh, happy, delighted to see Elizabeth safe and sound as well. It yeah, that say. comes second. That comes second, yeah. The welfare of his vehicle comes second. The bakery crates full of puddings come first. Naturally. Yeah. I imagine that's the way you would uh, set your priorities, is it? <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't delighted to see Terence because he hadn't been seen for quite some time. He didn't see him, did he? They left, they abandoned him, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> we brought you here, you can make your own way home. Or <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> you can't just bring someone out to a wild part of the island and say, make your own way home. <laughs> it's just in the middle of nowhere. and it just In all this snow, it's a blizzard. Well, we're going to freeze to death. <laughs> Not my problem, mate. <laughs> I wonder if they did go back. No. <laughs> oh, no, probably not. I'll come back for you later. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that'll have to do. I'm so cold. <laughs> Cuddle my engine and make you warm. It's all right, it's burning me. Ah! <laughs> what would you prefer? <laughs> Freeze to death or burn? Half and half. <laughs> so he sticks his foot on the engine and it lays in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, dear. Episode 5 already, and usually we'd be ending here. But now we go to the narrow gauge engines for one last time. Ooh. Do they make an appearance in, in Series 8? No. Series 9? Yes. 10? Yes. 11? Yes. 12? Yes. 13? No. 14? No. 15? No. 16? Yes. 17? Yes. Oh, thank God. Plenty of them in there. What are the engines waiting for when Rusty arrives to warm them all? The fat controller to be refilled but with water. Coal fat controller to be filled with water. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Coal or Scarlowy? Coal. It was coal, which is the name of a first series episode. It is. Did you like coal? It's a bit crunchy. Mm, yeah, I know. It makes your mouth black as well, it doesn't taste very nice. No, no, you tried it the other week, didn't you? What so, so for some reason I'm still addicted to it. Hmm, funny, I wondered why you had a bulge in your pocket. Hmm. <sighs> Question two. What colour is the writing on the lo line closed sign? Red, white, blue or black? White, with a red background. It was white with a red background. Yes, you are correct. Complete the fact controller's quote. That was very... A. Dangerous... B silly, C irresponsible, or D funny. That was very funny, Jonkin. <laughs> um, irresponsible. It was very irresponsible for him to do that. It was indeed, especially when he was carrying my Jaffa cakes. <laughs> Could have got them all wet. <laughs> then what would I have done? Go home! <laughs> Be what, who he says that to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jaffa cakes in peace. <laughs> <laughs> How many flags can be seen at the junction to the closed line? One, two, three, or four? Two. Which are moved aside by... No, the flags aren't. The sign no, is. the sign is. Duncan is as bad. The driver no, no, it's his, his driver. Bad. The driver is as bad as Duncan. It is. That's probably why they make such a uh, troublesome duo. Yeah. Why haven't the fat controller sacked him? I suspect he's told him to go home numerous times. <laughs> Probably, but because he's mental, no one listens to him. <laughs> Probably the best thing to do, to be honest. Yeah, just ignore him. 50% of what he said is crap, 50% is worth listening to, so, you know, just... Dip in and out. Yeah, that's it. The narrator says that Rusty feels very what at the end? Happy, relieved, proud or reliable? He says he's reliable. Big head. Yeah, he feels reliable, yeah. but in the, the fact of the matter is, he's just a confused. <laughs> Shall we move on to the last episode? Now don't, now don't cry, Calico, will you? Try not to. Okay. 
Did you enjoy Series 7 as a whole? It was... If I had to give it out of 10, mm. it'd probably be a 6.5. Oh, good. <laughs> Is that what you would have given it? Yeah, about that. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not very good. 7, I'd have given it. Last season, it's probably, probably better. I'd have given it a 7. Three cheers for Thomas, and is Thomas worth three cheers? Two. Who calls good morning at the beginning? Thomas, Henry, Bertie, or Harold? Everyone's favourite annoyance, Harold. Yes, it is. Harold the helicopter got to get in there somewhere. What does Thomas think about while he is said to be working hard? Medals, sports day, racing, or children? That's more Trevor's thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he's thinking about medals. He is thinking about medals. Is he right to think about medals? His mind should be on his work. Really? It should be, yes. Mm. But some people uh, have other things on their mind. Like you? I've always got things on my mind. Yeah. How much can I charge for those wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas says that Percy will be able to see what race? A, the three-legged race. B, the egg and spoon race. C, the relay race. Or D, the wheelbarrow race. Uh, the Egg and Spoon race. It is, the Egg and Spoon. F- which was then followed by... I didn't know Eggs and Spoons would have a race. Oh, Percy, for Christ's sake. Go back to that... Bloody go home! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go back to that up north place you call Liverpool. <laughs> which race when you were at school was your favourite one? The 100 metres. Was it? Oh, that's not written down here. Three-legged race. Not egg out. and Spoon race is quite challenging, actually. Yeah, it was. You used to run... Like, they used to be hard boiled, didn't they? Well, they were in the end <laughs> because people would uh, knock people yeah. and they'd drop the egg and it'd splat. <laughs> the three-legged race. I remember the three-legged race, but they had to stop that, didn't they? Yeah, because it was too uh, dangerous. Mm. Children might fall over and hurt themselves. Ooh. Oh, we can't have that toughing them up. No. Where is the fat controller left the medals? In his house, in his car, in his office, or on the bus? <laughs> Where's he left them? Uh, in his office. He has. <laughs> I think I left him on the bus. What did you go on the bus for? Well, I went on to just to leave the medals on. <laughs> I hear a lot of people lose things on the bus. I wanted to see if it was true. And it is. <laughs> I put them on the. I put them on the seat next to me. I got off at the next stop and. and I lost it. <laughs> Can you remember what uh, what number it was? No, nope. not for the life of me. <laughs> what colour is the ribbon on Thomas's medal? Gold, blue, red, or yellow? Red. It is red. Colour of your microphone. Not quite as red as that ribbon that he had, that oversized bow he had round his tank. Looks like an idiot, didn't he? <laughs> I bet everyone was sort of laughing at him behind his back and he Probably. just didn't know what they was laughing at. Calico. Calico. Yes. Shall we add up your scores? Yes. Are you sure you want to add up your scores? Yeah. You think it's for the best, don't you? Yeah. Calico. Yes. You've scored. <gasps> Twenty eight out of a possible thirty. Oh, it's not bad. No, it's better than average, but then you're average. If you put it into a 25 game, you would be average. Yeah. So. So again, we've reached another end of a series. Um, this one, probably not as good as the previous, but still... Pretty good. Still pretty good. And that's pretty cool. Um, so it's time for us once again to give away another DVD. It will come as no surprise that this time we are giving away series... Nine! No, no, seven. A s- series seven DVD. Well, how the hell was I supposed to know? I don't know. Uh, all you need to do is answer this very simple question. Which yeah, go on then. Is, is a bit different from the last two uh, competitions. Yeah, usually we have them just spot in the zoom, zoomed in, 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 in Which is very tricky to picture. say. Yeah, yeah. That all. So uh, we changed it because none of us could say it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this question is a question about what we've actually done. Which episode did we accuse James of photo bombing in? Oh, that's easy. That was. Don't. Well stopped. No, I forgot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stop. I forgot. Once you have the answer, please send it to me via PM or a new way of entering. <gasps> 
from the back door. <laughs> so once you have the answer, send it to me, Calico, via PM or a new way of entering. Via email, we have a new email. We're revolutionising here at Calico TV. Very modern. So, if you get your paper and pen ready now, the email address is calico tv one two three at gmail dot com. Uh, so, if you leave your answer as a comment on the video, not only will it not be counted, but you will be blocked from the channel because it ruins it for other people. Uh, you have until the seventh of September to get your entries to get your entries in by. Full terms and conditions can be found as always at www.steamteamseries.blogspot.com. Good luck to all of you who enter. Well, John. Well, John. you did that very well. Now go on. Go on. <laughs> so, young Calico. Yes. Can you sum up those episodes for us? These ones are better, actually, than the last lot. I would say. Yeah. I thought it was six of them. So, yeah. Medi- uh, they're very uh, above average episodes this time round. So, you're quite happy, yeah? Yep. Good. Good. So, will you best sign out, I suppose? No. No? No. Why not? Because I said so. I'm going to sign out. Oh, okay. Says bye bye everybody, bye bye from me and from Calico. It's I got to fall. And he did, uh, and and fall he did. Not really. No. But no. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and obviously enter our competition by our new way. Would be by the back door. So uh, what we offer that to do now? We're going to order some food. What you order some food? Watch Family Guy. What are you up? I don't know. I'll probably have a pizza. You have a pizza every week. I know. I might change it. See what they do. I want to see if they got any of their mozzarella sticks.